I don't think anybody, coach, player, parent, any administrator, legislator, anybody would argue with doing something that can make things safer. A reaction to a state lawmaker's plan to limit drills that involve hitting during football practice. Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. When two football players collide, the force can equal a head smashing against a wall at 20 miles an hour. Sometimes the result is a concussion up to 8,000 times in Texas high school football each year. A state representative has a plan he believes will reduce the numbers. He wants to limit contact drills during practice to just one day a week. KFDM reporter Justin Hinton explains the plan is drawing opposition in Southeast Texas and across the state. Friday nights in Texas mean high school football. The hits and thrills fire up the crowd. But before the Friday night excitement comes the preparation. Uh, regular season week we'd have uh, some minimal contact on Monday. On Tuesday it'd be a, a greater amount of contact. On Wednesday, it'd be a little less than Tuesday, and on Thursday, no contact. But soon, Nederland head football coach Larry Newman might have to change the way he organizes practice. A recent bill introduced by State Representative Eddie Lucio III seeks to limit the amount of contact during practice to one day per week. Lucio released a statement saying this legislation is aimed at preventing the harm caused by undiagnosed concussions. The cumulative effect of subconcussive hits can lead to severe brain damage because the lack of diagnosis. Not everyone is on board. I'm concerned that by having less contact in practice, you may have more injuries in the game. Orthopedic surgeon David Tischer believes hitting on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday teaches the players the fundamentals to get ready for Friday. There's nothing that indicates that that causes a, a head injury. It's it's the uh, the the, the Helmet, helmet that's so much more than that, and especially the side, where you get the side impact. That's really where you get the bad blows. Coach Newman is all for practicing safety. The problem he finds is how to maintain the integrity of the game at the same time. How to legislate it for good reason and apply it in a practical sense is the key. And I don't think everybody's got the answer to that yet. Touchdown. But as long as concussions remain a concern, they're likely to continue looking for those answers in high school, college, and pro football. In Nederland, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Representative Lucio's office told KFDM News he's in contact with the Texas High School Coaches Association. The office said he will not move ahead with the bill until the council is on board, but he will continue pursuing what the staff calls a practical and preventative solution to reducing injuries on the football field.